tell me you live in England without telling me you live in England. This is my umbrella pot. I just went to get one because um, it's disgusting outside. It's like, oh, which one do I choose? <laughs> like, so many different ones. I asked for this book for Christmas because I really want to have a go at foraging more. Because obviously I do the obligatory slows, blackberries. But it'd be nice to see what else is out there that we can eat. I'm definitely not brave enough to do mushrooms yet. It's literally, that could be a disaster. <laughs> That's either death or dinner. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to having a look through this and seeing what's around in January. I made some goodies for the shoot because it's potentially the last day of the season for me because I'm having surgery um, next week. So I've got in here slow port chocolate bark and then I've got this is mold slow gym it was an experiment I made and then somewhere there's some bramble whiskey as well so hopefully they'll they'll go down okay it is oh gosh look at that mess in the background it is the last day of 2023 I'm looking particularly glamorous today because I'm feeling not ill but I've got the that thing that's going around it's like a, a cold bit it goes straight to your chest and actually I found walking around it yesterday I was all right because it I don't know I just I was too busy to even think about the fact that my chest hurt and then when I got home I was like oh now I've stopped I feel awful awful um and we're not party animals anyway so a lot of people have asked us oh what are your plans for tonight uh in bed before nine maybe some Prosecco in my pyjamas. So yeah, um, my neighbour clearly has got a drum kit for Christmas, but his family obviously forgot to buy him lessons as well for said drum kit. So we just have, <laughs> he's just, just whacking it. I feel like maybe their dog's playing it instead of him because it's not, I don't I'm trying to name a professional drummer off the top of my head, but let's just say they're not then they're not going to have to pack in the day job anytime soon. Um, I'm just well, preparing, putting some uh, sparkling wine in the fridge for tonight. Um, yeah, I've just dealt with my pheasants. And that I feel sad because that's the last time I'll be doing it this season because um, my season's kind of cut short by the fact that I need to have surgery. But... I've been waiting like four years for this problem to be sorted. It's my bowel, by the way. I literally have no issue saying about it. Uh, because actually the bowel, we're very, still very taboo talking about like bowel health and stuff. So I just need to have the wall of my bowel repaired. And yeah, obviously, probably not even going to be able to sit down properly for a week and a bit. So forget walking seven miles over all sorts of boggy, mud and through maze so, and over those bridges definitely over those bridges i pulled my groin by getting stuck in the mud once uh yes i'm i'm sad but it'll be the next season before you know it what is it like 10 10 months away so we'll see and hopefully i'll be able to do some actual shooting days rather than just some days if all goes to plan, we're going to go for a walk tomorrow around Holcombe Hall in Norfolk, one of our favourite places, and then we're going to have fish and chips by the coast at a fish and chip shop in Wales that has gluten-free fish and chips, which is amazing, because it's, I mean, it's a, I can make them myself, but they're not the same as the fish and chip shop. So we're going to go there dog-free, we're going to leave the little doggies at home in their crates, uh, and have a little time to ourselves and um yeah i'm looking forward to it but we'll just see how the weather holds up because it was so windy last night i literally felt like my windows were going to come flying in bed with me and i did have like the thought did cross my mind today oh maybe i should just like go and shoot some clays you know send 2023 out with bang but so windy there's literally no point so I'm going to have to wait now until a ladies day in Feb to get my gun out. Pull gun. At least she's cosy in her cabinet. Also, can you tell we've had colds in this house? Because the whiskey is looking a bit... There's not much left in there. 
uh, I have also drunk the other two bottles of whiskey I had, not like all over the last week, but I honestly, I'm a great believer in whiskey for sore throats, colds. You just need to warm your chest up. I regretted not bringing my hip flask yesterday with me um, for a little, little sip to keep me going. But yeah, that's my plan now. Bramble whiskey. So hopefully I can shift this cold. Maxim just asked me if they're the ones they hunt. Yep. They're the ones that, when the time comes, <laughs> they get served up in curry form at the pub just up the road. They're quite friendly, actually, considering they, they get quite close to them. The corner of our living room where the tree was is looking very bare now, but usually we would have kept it up until, like, um, Ukrainian Christmas. But they now celebrate Ukrainian Christmas with the rest, like, Christmas with the rest of the world, so that Russian shit does not fly in our house anymore, so bye tree! I never actually talked about our day on New Year's Day the other day, because I, I literally looked at the camera and I was like, shit, I look tired, this is, I look dead, um, so I didn't really talk. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it was a lovely day, the weather was amazing, but because the weather was amazing, it was a lot busier than I thought. We got to Wells about 11 something, and it already said that one of the car parks, the one that's usually empty, was full. And it wasn't full, it was just I think they were not filling up too much, but it was still so busy. Luckily there wasn't much of a queue at the fish and chip shop as well, but yeah, it was like super busy. To the point that when we tried to get out of the car park they closed the gate and then like the parking attendant was just being a bit useless and um we did bip our horn at him quite a few times then he just turned and stared at us and i was like mm, okay so we'll do your job properly then we won't beep at you then we went to holcomb again i was thinking oh people aren't gonna be there right wrong 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 they literally had like there's almost nowhere to park again and they were actually parking outside the house where I think usually only the staff seem to park but then there were cars everywhere but there weren't as many people around so we had a little walk around and it was nice then we had to get home to the dogs obviously because we can't leave Amber for too long at the moment um yeah like it, it was a lovely day lovely start to the year and it was nice to have a nice walk around as well because i won't be able to do so for the next couple of weeks or so when i have surgery um and also i can only get gluten-free fish and chips at very specific places so the nearest one to us probably literally is wells so <laughs> it is lovely to have fish and chips i love fish and chips so yeah, I've got one day of work left before my operation, so I just need to tie up some loose ends and stuff for that, and then we'll see how we go, recovering. Yeah, it's not going to be the most comfortable recovery, but it needs doing, so.